we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done G'day, welcome to Art with Alison. Today I'm going to be doing a painting on a round canvas. So this should be interesting. Uh, I think it's 12 inches in diameter. And so I'm just going to be doing my layering. The paints I'm using are mainly Eraldo paints. So I'm just going to do tiny weeny layers because it's not a very big canvas. So, and I want lots of different colours. So that one is Eraldo Pearl and this one is Deep Sea. Got them just a slight mound and a trace for a little while. I just want to layer them. This one here is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in the Aquamarine. I think that's too thick. The metallics do need to be a little bit thicker, but mm, I might just add a tiny bit more flow troll. I was having a lot of trouble with Floetrol. Well, I got one, one four litre container of it and it was just like water and all separating and it was, yeah, I was really unhappy about it. And I went back to Bunnings the other day and asked when they got the last batch in and then I explained what had happened and she said, oh, let's just bring it back in and, and we'll give you your money back. So. It's really good. It's good to know out there, you guys, if you're in Australia and you need and you've had a, a container that's similar. Gone all, mine was all just, it was very hard to blend the clear liquid with the white liquid and that said to Tommy, I want white again. And, um, and then it was all kind of grainy, so yeah, and so watery. So, and the the lot that I got the other day, the flow troll is perfect. It's just like it used to be. So happy me, because I was getting quite well, to make distress, but not at all happy that wasn't able to mix my paints like I usually do. All right, so this one is just a mixture of Heraldo. Well, it had all sorts of colors in it, actually. It's one that I collected off a previous pour. And it's resulted in a beautiful color. It's just beautiful purple, metallic purple. This one here, what was this one? This was Heraldo metallic ocean blue. I love this colour too. They do do some lovely colours. This one's metallic palm green. This one is metallic jade. So yeah, that's the consistency I want. It's thickish, but not too, too thick. I live in the southwest of Western Australia. Beautiful place. I live in the bush on lots of acres and I have lots of dogs. So the snoring you can hear in the background is one of my dogs. 
Um, yeah, all my dogs live in the house with me, so you're likely to hear some dog noises. And yeah, very happy here. And so far, Western Australia has been so fortunate with the COVID, we managed to stop it from getting out into the community so far, we think. Unlike most places in the world, which is very distressing. Yeah, it's just terrible. So please know that I do care about all of you and I hope that you guys are keeping safe and that your loved ones are okay. I do love purple with the aqua colours, I think. Those colours go so well together, purple and turquoise. I'll make the layers a little bit thicker now because we'll be going further out into the circle. So the further out you get, the larger the bands will be. And so it just requires a little bit more paint. Ooh, I've been dribbling down the front, it seems. <laughs> Messy me. Just clean the surface here, so Okay, I just pop it all back in. I'm just going to water this down a little bit. Just with a bit of flow troll. Gen generally speaking, I, I only use flow troll to water my paints down. Well, I was watching Molly, Molly from Molly's Artistry. I'm sure most of you have been watching her she's absolutely brilliant and she is a, a chemist I believe so she understands about the chemical reactions between things and she was saying that water and flow troll detract from each other so you unless you're going to be using the water straight away or I mean using the paint mixture straight away it is best, according to, I just use that one, didn't I? It is best, according, according to Molly, not to add water in with your flow troll. At least that's what I heard her say one time. Oh, gee, that dog's la snoring very loudly. So that's the main reason I don't add water. And I find like the flow troll is basically always thinner than the paint, so you just add more flow troll and it gets to be a thinner consistency. Or you should say it has less viscosity. Things with high viscosity are like thicker in consistency. Colors is the Decoite Extreme Sheen Aquamarine. It's just gorgeous. And right, I think we'll just use the purple for the rest. And I think that will be enough. If it's not, I can always do up another little cup and pour some more on. 
Right, I'll just glue this away, back in a tick. This is Aralda White mixed with Floetrol and then about a quarter on top of that of the, uh, what is it, the Deco Art Satin Enamel added. in the background. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Alright, let's do this. Ooh. Just going to do fairly big circles. heading off in that direction, doesn't it? little bit of white at the bottom. It's vanished. Should have done a bit more it seems. Oh, I think that'll have to do. Glad I put the purple in. That's pretty with it. It's heading off in that direction, isn't it? This is just a mixture of scooped up paint from previous pours. It's quite runny. So I'll just use that as a ooh, base to go around. I'd love to see what you've been painting. I've got a, a little Facebook group called Acrylic Pouring and More for all types of artists at all levels and yeah I'd love to see what you guys have been doing any kind of creation really there's no no strict rules at all except my only rule is to be kind I think that covers everything if you're kind in everything you say and do, then all is good. So I'd love you to join and show me what you've been doing. Well, wow, that's quite interesting, isn't it? I'm not so sure that I'm keen on the middle. I'm loving this band here. Gee, that's gorgeous. Uh, and this pretty here. I mean, it would have been nice to keep it. I mean, do I keep it just like that? 
Tell me in your comments if you think I should have stopped here because I'm sure I'm not going to stop here. Should I stop here? Or stretch it out. Like I'm loving, I'll try not to drip on anything, I'm loving this bit here. That is just gorgeous and this here is pretty. But so far that middle bit is, I don't know, maybe if that got stretched out that could become more interesting. Um, yeah. Guess I could lose that purple band around the edge. really want to lose that bit though. I'm going to go back around. Always got to watch where the weight of your paint is. So you know what you're doing so you can be more in control. So you see the weight of your paint is where the paint is moving the fastest. Oh, that's looking nice. Yeah, I think that could look quite interesting if I did stretch. I'm losing this bit here, aren't I? Oh well, that's what happens. <laughs> I think I need to stretch out the middle bit just to see what it's like. If I don't like it, I can just do another cup of colours. Don't want to lose those cells there, if I can help it. But I might let this bit on this side here come off. Yeah, you see now, because I've stretched it out, sorry about the shadow, but because I've stretched it out, it's showing up the purple bands now, whereas you could hardly see them before, when it was only small in the middle, and it looked quite boring, whereas now it's been stretched, it's, it's a lot more interesting. That's what I think anyway, you tell me what you think. I might stop here. I think that's really quite pretty. Yeah. Alright, I'll just clean myself up and give it a torch and then I'll bring you in for a close up. So here it is, you can see the metallics glittering. I think this middle is actually quite pretty. Yeah, I am glad I stretched it out. That, that deep sea green, I love that. I knew that would be a nice contrast. I think I could have used a bit more of the white in there to give it a bit more contrast the other way. I'm very glad I used purple. That is very pretty in it. It's just an air bubble. Better check it's popped. And around here are those cells 
that I really liked. So just sort of kept them in. They've stretched out very big now though. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice to have had more of those. But yeah, happy with it. I have to do more of these. Tell you what, it's a lot easier with a round, with a round canvas. I'm going to be using more of those. No corners to worry about. All right, thanks so much for watching. Please give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you again soon. All right, bye for now.